good afternoon thanks so much for joining in uh, now you know, i i know that there is a one off which has impacted the bottom line uh, in a considerable way but just an outline of how are things looking because a couple of your peers who have come out till now the the commentary has been conflicting you to your 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 revenue number has uh, been in line but marginally off from what we were anticipating as well are there are there client conversations which are having a bit of a problem are deal cycles getting elongated what is the scene out there so uh, normally this quarter which is the first quarter is uh, a bit soft because of the india gis business which tends to peak in quarter 4 because of government purchases so a bit of the softness this uh, has come because of that and also a bit has come from from a uk business of the insurance product last year this quarter we had a very good set of uh, order intake and revenue so this quarter has been a bit soft because of some of the uncertainties so revenue at 4 and a half percent over last year is lower than a bit lower than a shade lower than what we expected but it's nothing to do with deals or transactions or um okay um hello yeah. can you can you can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you and i can so, see you as um, well mr pawar so, <laughs> yeah yeah the, the light went out for a second <laughs> so nothing in terms of macro factors but um, i think we did have these two reasons for a bit of a softness which happened does it change in the next quarter what's the outlook yeah so i think the order intake has been at 101 which is uh, a tad lower than our run rate for the last couple of quarters which is running at 120 because a couple of deals just got shifted by a few weeks i would say so we will make up that plus our run rate of 120 in the coming quarter so that should that should be fine in terms of order intake um and uh, we have to wait for the uncertainties in the in our insurance product business not very large but there are quarters that it tends to be large and it is uh, ip based so it impacts profitability a little bit so we'll have to watch for that rather carefully okay you know uh within the break up uh, yes so you part explain the slowdown in the gic business to seasonality what about lower revenue from government clients hurting the domestic business 8% of revenue see the domestic the government part of the business has actually come down to 2% now it was 4% last quarter and that has been we've been mentioning we are completing the projects which are there and so the india business is down to 8 or which government is 2% this quarter down from 4%. So the India business is down quite significantly and that part of that is as I think we have been discussing last couple of quarters is the completion of the large government projects. Uh, and we are not adding much to the pipeline because of many of the challenges that go with these government projects. Hmm. So our digital business on the other hand business business was uh, is gone grown 10% quarter over quarter it was 16% last quarter it's up 18% but that's a smaller base but that's building out quite well even the new orders in digital have been uh, quite interesting and good so the digital part of the story is shaping out unfolding quite well as we have uh, articulated in the last couple of quarters so 16% last quarter and 18% this quarter and so 10% quarter over quarter increase in the digital part of the business and we see that quite obviously as an important part of the future that is that a higher margin business or a lower margin business than the traditional ones the reason i'm asking is that is that while digital it, has grown it's higher it hi, it's higher margin it's a higher it, margin it business it is higher margin i <laughs> can just give a quick cut higher <laughs> margin business because no please carry on yeah go ahead you were wanting an explanation on something no i was just wondering so if 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 a higher margin business has grown albeit in a smaller way but has grown and contributed what explains this drop quarter on quarter in the in the operating margin picture has something else gone terribly bad so we yeah, have two things two things basically see one is seasonal one is the gis business which is all product business in india is profitable so that peaks in q1 and that has been a bit less in q uh, in sorry peaks in q4 which is the jan feb march government purchasing quarter tends to be lower but was a bit lower and the second is the, again the ip business the product business for our subsidiary in uk which does the the nitl which does the product ip 
that actually last year this quarter was a very good quarter this year that has been less than we expected part of the uncertainties in the marketplace was because there the order execution cycle is quite short as well so these are the two contributions for which have impacted margin because normally margin in q1 is about 220 basis points lower because of salary but this time it's another 80 basis points lower because of these two main reasons which is both gis as well as nitl which have been somewhat lower than what we expected so if you were to uh, you know just for the and benefit the of digital your build is, the digital build is building out yeah okay. sorry go ahead no, sir, go ahead. Uh, mr pawar if you were to you know uh, put out a range that is sustainable on margins given these headwinds uh, for the rest of the year what would that range be plus minus well we have percentage. to go we have to go further from here we have to go upwards from here where we are we have to go upwards from here and uh, that's what we'll be aiming for and uh, in this what are these two things have put pushed us back we expect even uh, even revenue we expect a growth next quarter to be better so we expect a pulling up of uh, margins uh, as you go to the next quarter all the way to 18% or would it be step wise i mean is that by the end well, of the year do you think watch, that you let's watch we okay we would like to take it up there i think we would like to take take it up there Okay. Also, your order intake, sir. I know um, you know last quarter round you did about 120 million dollars. Uh, at this time, the number has come in about 100 million dollars. It's just 20 million dollars short, but you know in rupee terms that amounts to about 140, 150 crores. Uh, is this going to be the new run rate quarter on quarter? No, 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 no. I think we will cover this and get back to our run rate of 120 because there are two particular transactions, one of which is done but not contracted. So I think in this second quarter we'll cover up this and be back to the run rate of 120. That's just a, a shift of a few weeks. Uh, two two significant contracts, which uh, one of which was actually concluded but not signed, meaning uh, terms are read, everything done. So that's a matter of few weeks uh, that these two. So we'll I think we'll be sustaining our rate of 120 million, which we achieved two quarters ago, and that will happen in this quarter. I just want to also highlight so 101 is short. Yeah. I also want to yeah, uh, touch upon the risks coming in from uh, the Brexit vote. I mean, you have a fair amount of exposure to EMEA and that business declined. Is there any uh, impact on the fallout? Uh, right now it's too immediate so most uh, managements are not willing to put out a comment, but you know, uh, for uh, and we're going to be watching out for the business confidence numbers also in the region. Uh, on how you know client spending pans out but is there a worry there are you cushioning yourself in some way uh, to the downside well see the see the thing there are two opposing forces one is that one of the things which was which we have been looking at as a risk from india in uk was free movement of uh, talent across eu which was a challenge for india so we see that as a medium term upside for us as an industry but i think in the period of little confusion even in nitl we did see that the lloyds market for example which uses our new platform those i think those that industry has to see how its own impact uh, of the brexit happens so for the insurance market which is a big customer for the nitl platform they have to settle their own views because that's the product which has done well uh, we and last year this quarter we had a very good growth because of the orders that came in so we we are waiting for the sum of the dust to settle but i guess there are there's a anxiety of the change but there is a rationale as we see from the india side that going forward the relationship of trade between india and uk could in fact get a significant upswing if we handle it right as a country so similarly the industry which has been concerned about immigration issues if uk gets its arms around that issue and controls it better it will have a positive impact on our industry and therefore on on nit NI NI as well hmm. okay. thanks very much mr pawar for joining us a pleasure having you on the show thanks very much for Thank clarifying so much. on your numbers and all the best for Thank the future you. find us on facebook at facebook.com/etnow and don't forget to click the like button you can also follow us on twitter at ET Now Live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow.